it's an issue with a lot, a lot of people, and a lot of people don't want to say I'm incontinent. They're embarrassed. Julia Hofferbert isn't embarrassed to talk about her overactive bladder. It is what it is, so you, know, you have to learn how to deal with it. And, and some people take certain kind of medications and they work perfectly. She is not one of those people. Medications didn't work, neither did changing her diet. She went to Dr. Mark Ellerkman, a urogynecologist at Mercy Medical Center. He suggested Botox. I started laughing. I said, Botox for my bladder? He says, yeah. Botox is well recognized to temporarily get rid of wrinkles, but it has FDA approval for nine medical conditions and overactive bladder syndrome is one of them. Botox helps to paralyze the muscle from contracting. It also seems to affect the degree of sensation that one has from the bladder to some degree. So it helps to sort of dampen the, the sense of urgency. It's injected into the bladder. It's minimally invasive. Dr. Ellickman says when the conservative methods don't work, having other options can change a patient's life. Through advocacy and, and medical professionals are now talking more and more about this problem, uh, it's becoming more of a household name. And, and people are saying, you know, geez, there are options beyond pads. Julia Hofferbert says her life is more manageable since she gave Botox a shot.